Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 27th through July 3rd. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, I do have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, the Seven of Pentacles talks about planting seeds, planting seeds, and then having to wait to be able to reap the rewards from those seeds, um, from that work, that time, that effort that you've put into something. Um, this is a patient energy. It sometimes can come up, sometimes it can come up when you're about to um, reap those rewards from, from those seeds that you've planted, from that effort that you've, that you've put in to a situation. Um, let's see here. The overall energy, Aquarius, for this week is the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords, for me, represents the ending to a difficult cycle, the ending to a difficult period within your life. You've already gone through the worst of something. You've gone through many difficulties, and now this is you um, maybe being able to close the door completely on maybe a difficult chapter or a difficult period within your life. Maybe for some of you, this is what you've been waiting for, and that's why we have that Seven of Pentacles. Um, we are starting out with the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands might be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries person that's quite significant this week. But I do feel like for many of you, this is your energy. The Queen of Wands has a high energy. She's incredibly passionate, driven, creative. And she really represents um, wanting to take action, wanting to move forward with something, being incredibly ambitious. Um, now, I do have the Page of Wands on the side of her. So this could be you patiently waiting, Aquarius, on information, news, or communication to come through. Because a lot of times with the Page of Wands, this is really positive, exciting communication that you're expecting here. You can see how she's looking out upon the horizons. She knows this news is coming through, but there is a little bit of a wait. She knows it's coming, she's expecting it, but there is a little bit of a wait. So for, for many Aquarius, Aquarians, I should say Aquarians, you've been patiently waiting. Maybe you've planted seeds, you've put, a, you've put a lot of time and effort into maybe a new beginning or into maybe moving forward, uh, leaving you know a, a past difficult situation behind. Um, but maybe you're simply waiting on that communication. Uh, but with the energy of the tower here, 
Now the tower is not always negative. This is very much a neutral energy and this can swing in either direction. And for you, you have some really amazing energies here. Um, this can be that sudden energy um, coming in, things happening suddenly. This could be this, this news that maybe you've been waiting on, that you've been expecting actually coming through suddenly with the with the energy of the tower here um, now for some of you this might be something to do with the home because the tower can of course represent a piece of real estate a, a structure a building so this might be news in regards to a home that you've been waiting on because I also have the Ace of Wands here. So this is a beautiful, exciting new beginning. This, this can be a passionate new beginning, a new beginning that you're passionate about. This can definitely be a new home. This is an exciting new beginning. So this definitely could be a new home um, and maybe you've been waiting on communication that maybe allows you to move forward or allows you to be able to take action and move to this new home. But with the energy of the tower, this could be coming in suddenly for you. I also have the high priestess here. So we have the high priestess here, and then I do also have the moon in, in the same spread here as well. So for many Aquari Aquarians, this is you actually being incredibly intuitive this week, maybe even receiving some psychic messages, having very vivid dreams. So definitely go within and listen to your intuition. This week, um, definitely might be receiving messages. But the High Priestess can also represent a very mysterious, secretive woman. So for some Aquarians, this could certainly be your energy. You might be um, you know, very mysterious, maybe keeping things to yourself this week, playing your cards close to your chest. Um, with maybe a home situation with, you know, you know, this could be with your finances. With, this could also be within your career because I do have the King of Pentacles underneath the High Priestess. So when it comes to money, um, there could be some Aquarians that are definitely maybe... Uh, keeping things to themselves, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but she also, like I like I mentioned, represents those secrets. Um, and the moon represents the unknown. Things that are hidden, things that are in the dark. So perhaps for some Aquarians with this tower energy, what really might be happening is we have something that was unknown, maybe something that was a secret, something that was left in the dark or hidden, actually maybe coming to light this week with this, with this energy. Um, if that's the case, I feel like this is really positive. I do not feel have like a negative vibe from from these cards whatsoever um, as a matter of fact it's the complete opposite we have the six of wands sitting next to the high priestess so this is you feeling confident feeling proud of yourself feeling successful and victorious with something here this is yeah you being in a really good place um feeling quite successful. Maybe you're feeling quite successful with learning something, with something coming to light, something being revealed this week. Now, with the King of Pentacles here, for some Aquarians, this could be, you know, something coming to light about an earth sign person, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, maybe something coming to light about a fire sign person. But also, you know, he can represent something to do with your career or something to do with a home. So there could be something coming out into the open, something that's being revealed in regards to a home situation or in regards to maybe a money situation. And this is you feeling really good about it. Really, really good about it. Um, But for many of you, I mean, you have this wonderful new beginning here, um, this Ace of Wands, which is an exciting new beginning. Um, but with the energy of the moon, you know, sometimes when things are not certain, things are left up in the air, you know, this sort of energy can come in, it can bring with it, 
you know, what I call that, this is that confusing, foggy energy, and it can bring with it, um, you know, un unnecessary worries, a lot of fear-based energies. So if you, if you are an Aquarian that is worrying about something or having some sort of confusion surround a situation, just know that it is this energy. It is the moon. Um, you know, this energy is temporary. It will pass. But try not to really worry about something um, because it will just be unnecessary worries. It's not, it's more of like an illusion. Um, definitely listen to your intuition to have, you know, we have the high priestess diagonal from the moon here. So for many of you, you're going to be just incredibly intuitive. But I do think that there is something uh, that that is coming uh, to surface here. There's something that's going to be revealed. But this is good for you. However, this works out for you um, however this plays out for you this is you benefiting from maybe something that was hidden now coming to light and it's all courtesy of this energy here of the tower um, and maybe with the seven of pentacles this is something that you've been waiting for um, but I feel like this is very very positive in regards to your finances I think that it's gonna be a great week for you financially Aquarius um, you might be a little bit emotional this week. Just be, you know, this this energy here can make us a little bit emotional. Um, other than that, um, I see you being in a really good place. This is, you know, some fiery energy here. Um, you being incredibly ambitious. The Queen of Wands is also a multitasker. She has, you know, a bunch of different projects going on at once. So this definitely can be your energy or many uh, Aquarians' energy. I am going to pull you a couple of additional cards this this week, um, additional guidance cards. I am still using my messages from your Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. This is the deck that I do use every week, but I'm also using a new deck. This is Healing with the Fairies. This is a new deck that I wanted to incorporate into um, these this week's forecast. So I'm going to pull you a couple of additional guidance cards for Aquarius some additional guidance for this upcoming week some additional guidance for Aquarius what else does Aquarius need to know but you are ending um, a difficult chapter you're ending a difficult time within your life Aquarius if this is something you've been waiting for this is really nice um, you know what awaits you is an exciting passionate just um, really wonderful new beginning And you're definitely receiving that communication in regards to this this week. Okay, so I have a card that just flipped. All right, very nice. All right, and one last message for Aquarius for this upcoming week. What else does Aquarius need to know? Please show me. see here we have two cards that flip so I'm going to take both of them all right interesting okay so the first card that came out for you Aquarius is Yvonne you have a special bond with animals your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by the angels very nice So if you've been worried about a pet, just know that, um, you know, they are protected, but also know that your animals here on earth now, and also, you know, maybe some that have crossed over, they are, they are okay. They are being watched over. Um, you know, maybe for some Aquarians, this is you maybe actually going to be able to spend more time with your animals this week. Now, from my Healing with the Fairies deck, I have two cards that flipped for you, and they're, they're very interesting. We have Breaking Free, along with Stand Your Ground. So, Aquarius, um, we know that you're breaking free from, from this past 
difficult cycle within your life, standing your ground, standing up for what you believe in, standing up for what you want. You know, this is having courage, uh, believing in yourself. This, you know, if you are courageous and you do stand your ground, you will be successful. So, you know, you have this wonderful, successful energy here, Aquarius. So stand your ground, break free from, you know, whatever it is that no longer serves you. Have courage and know and know that you are absolutely strong enough to get through anything. I don't feel like this is negative. I feel like this is, you know, for some of you, you just needing to maybe stand up for what it is that you want or stand up for what it is that you believe in. Um, needing to maybe just have courage this week. And you will be successful because of that. And then for others, you know, definitely maybe make some time for your, for your fur babies. Okay, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful, Aquarius, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.